Hi everyone, I really do appreciate it that all of you are watching my video. Thank you, thank you a lot. Uh, thank you for sharing also, and please comment on the video so I can read your comment. I could, you know, answer question, anything that you have, or if uh, you see the movie that I always tell to you, or if you have any other suggest suggestions about any other things, then yeah, let me know, and I'm going to talk about it. Why not? Of course, I really love them. I really love that you share things with me. So thank you very much for um, thumbs up. And have a great, great day. So what, let's going to talk about um, a movie, another movie that I saw this week. The name of the movie is P Peeply Life. And it says, it is like this. It's P-E-E-P-L-I and life like L-I-B-E. It is about a farmer. It's, this movie is from India. And it is this guy that he's a farmer and he has really a lot of um, trouble to have um, his harvest, his harvest. Um, and he's trying to look out for other options, right? So the thing is that, like, is like it is in India that you try very hard to do that, but it doesn't rain all the time most of the time it, it doesn't rain so they need like a pump or any other things so they can get water you know for the farmer of course and also for the animals because they have to feed them and give them water and all that stuff and the thing is that they try to all the time look um like help from the government and they have like this special help but you really like have to qualify for that if you don't qualify for that then they don't going to give you nothing so um you can get uh the seeds um from the plants you know from i think they send it from in the united states something like that but then you don't have water and they don't give you like i say any resource you have to like to really look out for it and this guy he was like walking uh, with his cousin and uh, he hear from another person that is a farmer commit suicide they could give money to the family so then he decided to do it and he say aloud that he was going to like I say do that and it was this reporter that hear him and he was like surprised about what he was saying because he never hear about it so he decides to go to a, um, another reporters talk about that and then all, all of a sudden a lot of reporters know about it they go to their house to interview them and then it becomes so so more uh, like popular about about what it is he wants to do for um, his family and for for uh, the des desperation that he have to get food and you know um his stuff because that's he loved to be a farmer but he you know the struggling make him so so sad and he just want to do like suicide which that you know way of thinking is very difficult to do it if it is you know is because you wants to give everything for your family in in the movie he have three kids and and her wife so um, he became very famous because of that. And the government, he wants like to, uh, you know, silence that guy because that make them like have some problems and they don't, the government of India, they don't want to look bad. So they give him this water pump and he say, okay, you give me the water pump. Thank you about it. But how I'm going to is, uh, do the installation because I don't have the equipment and he said no we just give it this and you have to deal with the rest of it so he just put it in the middle of the living room and the kids they were playing um with that because he can do nothing with it i mean he can but he don't have the like i say the equipment so the thing is that uh this movie is about the struggling about this farmer it's really good it's long it's almost like two hours but you can see the really the need about um what is happening in uh, in India about this thing and the government how sad 
they have resource, they have money, but they don't really want to like help. I don't know right now about this situation. This is like a movie, but at the end of the movie, you can uh, read that it really, you know, this kind of situation really happened in real life. And like more than uh, 8,000 farmers decides to move to the capital so they can like uh, found another kind of job that they don't really like because they like to be farmers because of that, because they don't have the resource or the things then to keep doing what they love. Um, so that was about that movie. It's really good. So if you want to see it, of course, the language is, a, is in their language, but they have uh, subtitles in English and other um, language. So see it. It's really good. It's really good. So the other things about, like I always say, uh, open your heart, be great, and always, always, all the day, do something good, something great for yourself or to other person, okay? Because we have to, um, like, you can say <laughs> heal the world, but it's more like heal the people, heal yourself. And it is about this coming, okay? And it says like this, okay? Uh, it says, it improves the life of another at least a little. If you do that, if you help someone, it could be a people, it could be a, an animal, it could be uh, a nature, you can, at least for that moment, you can improve the life of that. Uh, even um, then, even if you don't know it, you can change the, the life of that person. Or it could be just for a couple of weeks, even in their mind, in their situation. Like, uh, this is a situation that happens to me. I've been living here in New York for about almost uh, two years. And when I came here, I have to move to a shelter, right? It's um, help from the government. So the thing is that we, we, we were living there. I was living with other people. And uh, it was this woman that she was like my, she was next door to me. And she was pregnant. And she didn't have uh, too much uh, on her about her clothes or the food. It was in the refrigerator, but it was frozen food. And because, you know, she was um, pregnant and all that thing. But then we decide to uh, make home, home um, we were making um, homemade food. So we decide like to give her uh, some, of, uh, some of the food. Uh, we just go out to um, this church or places that they can give you, um, let's say, uh, free clothes. And we also went there and we go to the, to, to her room and we give them, uh, we give her uh, the clothes, we give her the food and we just all the time we share with her because we love that uh, she could have a really take care of her baby because it, you know, um, eating frozen food, it really doesn't, for me, for us, it doesn't really help uh, to have a healthy um, care for the baby. So I know that um, she begins to really appreciate it and she always say, hey, thank you a lot. Uh, she just, um, other uh, most of the time she just came to us and just talk and become to share the experience. And we really make friends with, because like I say, I just came from there and I didn't know nobody. So I, I was really nice that uh, in a way that I could help someone, we also um, could find a friend. I could find someone that it could share the, the, the history, their life, and we could do the same. So we make a nice uh, friendship. It is really nice. So that's what is about, you know, what I say that you can change the life of someone even for a little while. Because now then uh, I moved from the shelter and, and now I move, uh, I am living in an apartment. I don't know now what is um, happened to her, 
but I just remember that um, part of the time of my life that I could uh, share with her and she shared with us and we could like help from each other. So it's really, really, really good experience and, and what I tell you, it was really, really nice. Uh, and what else I could tell you, um, have a great day today and I really hope that all of you also have doing something great for you, for everyone. So have a great time, have a great life and see you in another day, okay? Take care, bye.